IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our eighth episode of this Braves Beat season. I'm Marina Anderson. And I'm Maddie Ryring. How was your weekend, Marina? Good, I visited Alabama University. Roll Tide! Well, <laughs> I think you'd be a natural down there. Well, I don't have cowboy bo boots, nor do I have a hat, so I think I'll stay here. <laughs> okay, well, there's a whole lot of news to get through, so let's get on with it. It's just in, Indian Hill School Board voted to be mask optional for grades 8 through 12. The board may revise this mandate at the next meeting, taking place November 23rd. Congratulations to four Indian Hill students who place in the annual Forest Airs Vocal Music Scholarships. Students Claire Hardick and Luis Vega Torres won two of the four $500 scholarships. Students Joseph Kane and Preston Marks were runners-up. The students will join the Forest Airs concert at the end of April 2022 to perform their encore concert. The Indian Hill School District welcomes veteran athletic professional Julius King as the new athletic coordinator. King has served the district as an educational aide at Indian Hill Primary School and as the head coach of Indian Hill Middle School Boys Basketball Program. He will work to support athletic director Brian Phelps. Carrie Daniel is also joining us as well and will serve as the Indian Hill High School baseball coach. We're very excited to have you two working with us. Go Braves! This just in, Reese has notified us of another student spotlight ready for us with Chloe Hutton. Hello Braves, welcome to another episode of Student Spotlight. I'm your host, Reese Tuttle, and today I have Chloe Hutton. So Chloe, why don't you tell us, why exactly are you here today? I'm here to tell about my dad's movie. Wow, interesting. So what is it about? It's about two demigod brothers and they're in a battle over the mystic cup of Hades. And my dad's character, the main character, he is struck down by lightning by one of the brothers, and um, he is now stuck between an angelic battle between uh, the two demi brothers, demi god brothers. Wow, that's really interesting. So I assume that the movie was like being filmed in your house or something close to, you, correct? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So my dad didn't know what he was doing. Um, he had no experience like editing and doing all this other stuff and how to make a movie at all. He was just kind of going off the fly, but he did really well, obviously, and um, I'm very proud of him. I'm I would really be proud, proud of him too. So how long did this movie take? I know that the movie's based off of comics, so tell us about the production of those. Uh, it took him over 10 years to make it. It started when I was probably going into first grade. Um, it's based off his comic book that he made um, in sixth grade. Interesting. So. Can people go and see this movie right now if they wanted to? Yes, they can. It's on YouTube right now uh, for free. The link will be in the description for the movie. And I think that's all that we have for today. So, Chloe, I want to thank you for coming in and talking with me today. Thank you. And back to you at the desk. Wow, thank you for that, Reese. I'll be sure to check it out. October 15th was the last day of Hispanic Heritage Month. However, that doesn't mean that Hispanic Heritage cannot still be celebrated. Continue to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of the Hispanics around you. Speaking of raising awareness, October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. Our Braves Dogmen had a pink out football game, as well as our volleyball girls had a volley for the cure. Way to raise awareness and money for our amazing cause. Maddie, it looks like you and Griffin are newly trained scientists. Yes, we actually taught ourselves. Oh, okay, well let's roll the clip. Today, Griffin and I are going to be making a paper mache volcano. Do we know what we're doing? No. Is it going to turn out well? No. Griffin, do you have any input? Are we going to have fun? Absolutely. No, we're not. Okay. This is going to be the largest volcano ever. Yeah. All right, Braves. This is a test to see how the volcano is going to go. Now we got to pour in the vinegar about a tablespoon and then let her rip. <laughs> no, 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 stop, stop, stop. We need some assistance. Can you grab a two liter of Coca-Cola and some okay. Mentos? Perfect. Before I was like, hey. No, literally, like, like what? what? What is her problem? Like, the... you're gonna still go to school. Thank you, thank That's you. So this is really good. Is it not going? <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. There goes like four hours of my life. All right, Braves. That was it for no this time way. segment of Science Time. 
pour baking soda and vinegar. <laughs> Wow, Maddie, you were like Bill Nye out there. I hope to see some more experiments coming soon. Congratulations to all the Braves who participated in the Little Women musical this past week. Great job, Braves. That being said, get prepared for this year's powwow. Les Mis! Auditions begin October 25th. Reach out to Mr. Clark or Mrs. Thomas if you have any questions. Are you interested in a career in the medical field? Join us for a virtual event on Monday, October 25th at 7 p.m. to meet with family medicine doctor Anish Tile to learn about his journey through medical school, residency, and the process of becoming a doctor. All are welcome. Register for the event on your Canvas announcements page. Don't forget Braves, we have a special Halloween Spirit Week. Don't forget Braves, we have a special Halloween Spirit Week coming up. So remember to get dressed up. Monday, dress up as your favorite teacher. Tuesday, dress up like a college student. Sport your favorite college gear or wear where you plan to attend. Wednesday, bring anything but a backpack. What else could you bring besides a backpack? Wheelbarrows, microwaves, uh, shopping carts. It's up to you. Okay. Well, on Thursday, wear your Halloween costumes. And on Friday, we'll end with the classic Jersey Day, prepping us for the football game. Speaking of jerseys, our Braves Beat Gladiators have a fresh sports report for us. Let's check it out. Thanks, Maddie and Marina. I'm Griffin Tierney. And I'm Matthew Miller with this week's sport report. And now on to cross country. Our very own girls cross country team ended placing first in the CHCA Invitational. Senior Hayden Withers had a great performance this season and was named the CHL Runner of the Year. Now on to field hockey. Isn't that the hockey but on grass? Sort of, but better. All right. The girls played St. Ursula ending in a scoreless game because of our godly goalie, Maddie Ryring. They also played Talawanda, beating them 7-0. Great job, girls. Next up in football, our Dogmen beat Finney Town 68-6 in Deer Park 49-35. Tonight, they play Reading, where the senior boys will play their last home season game. Today is their senior night, and the theme of the game is Jersey theme. Good luck, guys. Bring home the W. And now on to girls' tennis. The OHSAA state tournament started, and our girls are killing it with Brooke Arrington and Caroline Brown advancing for singles and Lexi and Cassie Larson advancing for doubles. Great job, Braves. We have some catching up to do for volleyball. The girls' senior night was on the 12th, where they played Deer Park, winning three sets to one. Senior night was definitely one to remember for the seniors. Kate Megan hitting her 300th career dig in just two years, and Michaela Biting with 500 career kills. Two days later, they went to Reading, beating them three sets to two. Wowee. Yes, Matthew, wowee is right. We had another senior night where the boys' soccer team played Reading with a score of 9-0, to zero, with goals coming from seniors Harry Wolf and Evan Warfel. The boys also started the road to state as a one seed. They played Clinton Massey at home, winning 5-0. to zero. Now on to girls' soccer. The girls' team has been unstoppable with wins against Deer Park, Reading, and Goshen. Good luck in the upcoming tournament game, girls. That's all we have for sports this week, but tune in next time to hear about the many more teams our Braves will face. I'm Matthew Miller. And I'm Griffin Tierney, AKA Rex. Back to you at the news desk. Wow, Braves, great job dominating it out there. Thank you, Griffin and Matthew, for that killer report. Well, Braves, this is all that we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Subscribe to us on YouTube and email us with any school updates. And remember, Indian Hill, roll stay class. Class. No, Maddie, have the chemicals <laughs> from the science experiment got in your mind? It's stay classy. Oh, um, oh, oh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And remember, <laughs> stay, stay classy, classy Indian Hill. Hill. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of Ghost Wranglers with the boys. I got my boy Abe with here. What's up? What are we doing today? So today, we're getting our stuff together because we're gonna go ghost hunting later. And you guys will be seeing this for the next two weeks. Gonna be a blast, gonna be fun. Gonna have some time with my boy here. Maybe gonna go camp. wrangle some wraiths, baby. Maybe some overnights. Some overnights. See you soon. All right, so we're here in Home Depot. We got a couple of the essentials. Got a couple five gallon buckets. Then we got this vacuum that you just stick right on the bucket, suck the ghost right up, and it goes straight into the bucket. 
Perfect. And what the dog doing? Tight foam so we can seal these closed and catch some ghosts, baby. So we are back. We are currently searching for a place to ghost hunt. As you can see, that is Weeks' house. It's haunted. We've it's heard it's haunted. haunted. May make a trip in that backyard. Oh, we're gonna be hunting back there. Don't tell Weeks. All right, everybody. We're here. We got our ghost hunting masks on because we have high paranormal activity, and that is Stefan Field. Gonna say about it. Catch y'all next week. Catch y'all next week. Where we go hunt we some out. ghosts.